friends welcome back to our channel so today we will discuss about uh, a few shortcuts on shift key so in the keyboard you will be finding the shift key so on the left side and the right side so both the keys will be working with the same functionality so you can use either left side shift key or the right side shift key and now we will see some shortcuts of shift key so coming to the first one shift plus f10 so you just click on the shift button plus functional key f10 so that it will open the properties properties so if you just right click your mouse you will be getting the properties right so that that sort of menu will be displayed if you click on shift plus f10 so let me uh, show you shift plus i am pressing f10 so that you will get the menu okay properties menu right so that's a shift plus f10 and the next one shift, control plus shift plus escape so you use you have to click the three buttons that is a control button shift and escape so this will open the task manager it will open the task manager so the name itself indicates the task manager will be having all the processes which are running on your system see control shift escape you can see this is the task manager okay i will explain about this task manager in detail in the next sessions right so this task manager will be having all the processors and the softwares or services that are running in our computer it shows everything okay and the next one is windows button plus shift button plus yes alphabet yes it will take the screenshot it will take the screenshot of your desktop right let, let us let me explain so windows plus shift plus yes so you can observe here so we are getting some crop option so you can select the portion which you want to take it see we got the screenshot of the selected portion so for taking the screenshot you need to press the windows plus shift button plus yes right the next one is a shift plus arrow marks arrow marks so whatever the arrow you can use so this is for selecting the multiple files selecting multiple files right so just you can open the browser you can open the browser so go to here uh, you can observe just select one thing and click on the shift and just uh, use the arrows to select the multiple files you can observe here so here uh, in this case we are selecting the multiple files so this is one way to select the multiple files without using the mouse point and the next one control plus shift plus capital n so capital or smaller the it's a alphabet n so it will simply creates a new folder creates a new folder so one way to create a new folder is just right click on the mouse so that you uh, right click the mouse you can get the new option in the menu you will be finding the new and you can create a folder so instead of doing all these things so simply you just so you can observe the desktop you can observe my desktop so i am not using any right click on the mouse so i am just going with the control shift and n see control shift n so automatically you'll get the new folder okay once again i will show you so control shift and n it will create the new folder right then see next one is a shift delete shift plus del shift delete so uh, uh, in your keyboard you will be having the button called delete button right so if you delete any folder see i will uh, i will delete this new folder i will press the delete button on the keyboard so that automatically that will be deleted from the screen and it will be moved to the recycling bin so if you open the recycling bin you will be finding the same folder so whenever you want you can also restore so right click on the new uh, on the icon and just click on the restore so that again the folder will be appeared here so if you click on shift and delete if you press a shift delete instead of using the delete button 
press the shift and delete automatically this you will getting a prompt box are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder so this folder or this files which are deleted by using the shift and delete will not be moved to the recycle bin so permanently they will be get deleted so i have deleted by using the shift delete so you, you will be not finding the same icons or same files in the recycle bin so deleting the files without moving into the recycle bin we have to use this shift delete so delete without moving into recycle bin so you can't restore the files once you delete will come temp, uh, permanently right and the next one is a windows plus shift plus numerics one two nine so this will open the app pinned to your taskbar right in the position indicated by the number which you have given right see this is the taskbar you can find this is the taskbar and you can find the number of uh, applications pinned to here so one is a file explorer next one is a store browser and some a phone companion right now if i press windows plus shift plus one the first app which was pinned in the taskbar will be open if you go with the two then my microsoft store will be open if you press three the browser will be open so you need not go with here see the my mouse pointer is here and just pressing a windows button plus shift plus one so automatically file explorer has been opened because the first app in the taskbar is file explorer and if i go with the two i will op it will open the microsoft store so that is the second option that is the second app available in taskbar and then three it's a browser browser is open you can observe the third position is a browser and four it's a phone companion right so phone companion will be open and if you change the order okay if you change the order or see now the second position is having the browser if i click uh, windows plus shift plus two so windows plus shift plus two browser will be open right previously we the store ha, store has been opened but here now i have changed the positions now the second position browser and the third position is of a store so now i will get if i press 2 we'll get browser and if i press 3 we'll get the store and if you add a few more to the taskbar see i, I will add the jupyter notebook in the taskbar right so the position of jupyter notebook is 1 2 3 4 and 5 so i just want to ju open the jupyter just go with the shift windows and uh, 5 so that the jupyter notebook will be open okay so windows plus shift plus the number will open the app pin to your taskbar in the position indicated by the number so it will start with a 1 so based upon the position the app the particular app will be open right so hope you understood this one these are the very few and uh, important shortcuts need to be remembered so uh, let's stop here and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much